Raspberry Pis are a small computer in a very small uh, capsule. So the idea is that uh, this little device is the equivalent of any uh, PC in terms of the capabilities that it has. And we came up with the idea of having the devices react to the work that they're doing. And so the devices themselves are designed attached to uh, servo mechanisms that move. And the movement is driven by what the device is actually accomplishing. So as you give the device work to do, it will move more. What this will do then is create a sculpture that is moving uh, as you watch it. Uh, what we're trying to do additionally is make the connection between what the person sees and what it's actually doing. So it might be doing a search, like a Google search. Um, Google searches are all done in parallel on large parallel systems. And so while an ordinary person appreciates the speed at which they can get search the internet for a particular idea or a concept, uh, that is all done with parallel computers. So those are the concepts that I came to Sam with. And what I wanted from him was his artistic creativity, his, his idea to think um, abstractly and create something that was visually compelling, that was inspiring to people that might come and see it. When you're incorporating something into a particularly kinetic sculpture and compounding that with the fact that this one actually does something even beyond being kinetic, that it's responsive, that it's a working computer, you have a lot of things like wire and power and proximity, dust, all of these things that you have to worry about with computers that I wouldn't normally have to worry about if I were working in wood or metal or something like that. We sort of determined scale based on how many Raspberry Pi computers we were going to use. So each one takes about a square foot of surface area on our sculptures. If you wrap that around a cylinder, you come up with something approximately nine and a half feet tall and six feet wide. So once we have that, then we can sort of talk about uh, a little bit more freehand about the overall form, uh, how the themes are gonna fold into that form. You know, when you're building something this big, things are gonna change in the manufacturing process and we wanna be able to deal with that down the line. The, the products that we use really allow for some change in the process. So once we were happy with that, went on to designing the the mechanical bits that actually articulate these panels, which is attached to the Raspberry Pis. So there are eight individual components for each one of those, each one of those uh, sets. Each of those gets designed, tested, and then goes into full production on a CNC router that we have in our studio. What our volunteers are doing today is actually uh, cleaning up those parts and getting them ready to assemble into the 256 sub-assemblies. So once the sub-assemblies are together, then they go on to this structure that we create out of this uh, erector set-like product. What we'll do with the actual uh, resulting devices, we will run jobs like Google Search on the machine. And so the entire uh, sculpture will be moving in reaction to the computation. And so that's what we're building. We're building this living sculpture that reflects the computing that's happening in parallel.